G'day Andrew, how are you? Yeah, good thanks, how are you? Now, I thought I'd do this interview because it's quite topical, uh, this weekend you've got a big event, is that correct? Yeah, i got the Ironman on Saturday, so... Brilliant, you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am, yeah, it's been a quite a long build up, and it's, um, but it's come around, it's amazing how quickly it's come around, so uh, yeah. it's going to be all over and done with it before we know it. Um, you've done it before, how many yeah. times before have you done it? Um, I've done it three times before, or sort of two and a half, because I did one in 2006, which uh, was yeah. uh, sort of rained out, winded out, or whatever. So. Right. Now, um, you've done quite a bit of training for this one, and yeah. how do you feel it's gone? Yeah, it's gone good. I've really been concentrating on my swimming and my cycling. I'm, my background's in running, so I haven't spent as much time running as I have with my cycling and swimming. So. What have you done for the run previously? Uh, 325's been my best, so right, I'm so hoping for around that, or maybe a little bit better on Saturday. Right. And you're going to so you're going to tighten up on the swim and the, and the cycle particularly. Yeah, hopefully the bike, man. Hopefully take about half an hour out of my bike time. So, right. Yeah. Uh, sounds really excellent. So that would bring you what to what sort of? Uh, it's a bit hard to say predicted times before the event, isn't it? Yeah. It's a big question. Loaded I mean, question. I'd love to go around 10 hours, but I mean it's right. that's a bigger. You know, and is that in the 40, 40 plus group? Yeah, 40. Yeah, getting old. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's excellent. Um, how long have you been swimming at the squad for? Um, on and I off. first started coming 2003, I think, at Family Alley, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, on and off since then. So. Right, yeah. Well, your swimming's certainly going well at the moment. Um, you've been training with Corey and um, Nathan, uh, who are yeah. both also doing the Ironman. Yeah. They're not here today, they've already gone up. Uh, so it'll be interesting contest for yeah, the fun. it's, it's going to be quite cool. On the swim leg and then the bike and the run. Yeah. Um, so yeah, brilliant stuff. Well thanks mate, all the best for the Ironman in the weekend. Yeah, yeah, cheers. I mean, and thanks uh, for look forward help. to seeing Over results. Here. No worries. Yeah, thanks, mate. Cheers. Winnie. Yes. Winnie, while well, I've got you here, we're just doing a quick interview about <laughs> about our Ironman. Now I believe you're doing the Ironman in the weekend. Yes I am. Um, how do you feel? Nervous. <laughs> Nervous. Hey, do you feel prepared? I've ticked all the boxes that yep. I could in my program. It's like done all you could. Yep. Um, if you were looking at the three events, how has your swim training gone? Um, okay, I think. Okay. Yeah, Not, yeah. I mean, you've done a lot of swimming in the past, but you've yep. obviously had I'm to carrying sacrifice that with a little me. bit. Yeah. <laughs> relying on that. And what about the cycle because that's a big part of the event and yep. um, you've done the Ironman before and um, so The bike will be pretty big challenge, uh, you know it's going to take me hopefully somewhere around 8 hours Right. Um, and it's just trying to stay focused and think about the right things during that time, especially in the hard bits Right. Uh, what I've learned in my training is I don't seem to have got much better in the hard bits but the easy bits I've got a lot better on so right. I need to maximise what I can <laughs> Yes, yes. and just guts out what I can <laughs> and on, on the run obviously the run's a real uh, real challenge for you with your leg yep. having had polio as a youngster yep. and um, you carry that with you um, how have you changed things this time around or have you made any changes or improvements since the last time man? I haven't made any changes uh, but I still run with a, a raise in my left shoe just to help that's the only kind of concession I've made to the difference in my legs. Right, and is your running gone? Um, How's it gone? It's, it's gone okay. I've got through a couple of really big, really long, hard runs. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that um, with this new course, it's a three-lap course, there's no dark, yes. lonely airport hill right. anymore. That was a rite of passage for Ironman in the past, and it won't be there this year that I can rely on the positive energy from the crowds to help keep me going. Fantastic. Well, yeah. look, um, we're behind you 100%. Um, cool. I hear you've raised over $700 yeah. for CF. Uh, Isn't that amazing? That's fantastic. Yeah. Well done on that too. My CF buddy yes. did the Round the Bays on, in the weekend. She has never run 7Ks before. She'd been in hospital that week on IV antibiotics. Um, and she did it. She oh, was that's fantastic. Really stoked, so. Well, you were once one of those type of people who'd only run around the block. Yeah. And now, and now you do Ironman. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, anyone can do it, would you say? I think so. What, what words of advice would you offer for um, newbies, newbies to triathlon thinking about Ironman in the future? 
Oh, I think um, get a good coach, take your time, don't try and do it all at once, but believe in the dream. Fantastic. Well, look, all the best, Winnie. We hope you have a great event. Thank you. See ya. Bye.